Hello, everyone, and welcome back for day two of our five part series about Merlin, the smartest way to track your crypto. And today we're going to be talking about a couple exciting aspects of this application. First, we're going to go through how to add your wallets and exchanges seamlessly into Merlin. Then we're going to show you how to manually add your tokens as well as your exchanges. As well. My name is Abs. I'm the host and senior engagement officer at Merlin. You may recognize me from the Good Morning Crypto Show, but today we're talking about Merlin. So with that being said, here is the smartest way to track your crypto. So today we're going to be walking through how to add an asset to your portfolio. And the first thing you're going to do, locate the markets tab on the Merlin page and look in the top right. You will see the add an asset tab. We're going to click on that next. After getting to the connect your assets page, you're going to see two options. The first connect to an exchange slash wallet. And that's the simplest option right here. You've also got the option to add your coins manually. That's if for some reason, you can't connect your Merlin to the application that you're keeping your crypto on. So I think it's most valuable that we go through adding coins manually before the wallets and exchanges. And that's what I'm going to walk you through right now. Let's pretend we're going to add Bitcoin as our cryptocurrency. Then we're going to ask the quantity of Bitcoin that we are adding to Merlin. Let's keep it very simple and go with one. Uh, the next thing you're going to do is explain the type of buy, sell, or deposit that it was. For this, we're going to say that we purchased one Bitcoin. The exchanger wallet that we're keeping it on, let's use a ledger device. So we're going to say that this Bitcoin is located on our ledger and the price that we purchased our Bitcoin at an even $10,000. And let's say that that was back in September of 20. And we'll say it was on September 18th, 2020. With that being said, boom, you're going to click the save tab located in the bottom right. And as you can tell, within seconds, Merlin is going to add this crypto not only into your assets page, onto your exchanges and markets page as well. So that's what we're going to look at right now as we go. You have now added your coin to your Merlin wallet. And let's check it out. We're going to go to the assets tab and look for the transaction that we just added. We're going to see all the different coins that we already own. But check this out. Where's our Bitcoin? First line underneath your assets. You can see tomorrow we're going to be walking through an exciting part of this program where I show you how to create an exit strategy for each one of your assets. And that's what I really think is a game changer about the entire Merlin application. For this next portion of the video, we're going to go through how to add an asset via the wallet slash exchange tab. And this is very simple, so it shouldn't take very long. But we're going to go to the assets page, just like we did before, located in the top right hand corner of your screen. And then we're going to select the connect a wallet slash exchange tab right underneath the connect to an exchange slash wallet notification there. So we're going to click there and seamlessly, we are going to connect our Merlin to the Vesgo account. And Vesgo is very simple. It's very easy to understand for our users. What this application allows us to see what's in the portfolio, but we don't get access to any of your tokens. We can't touch any of the assets that Vesgo is able to see. That's why this uh, program is so secure. Once this no uh, notification pops up, you're going to see Merlin uses Vesgo to link your wallets secure and private. Security, wallet information stays encrypted and is completely secure. Private, credentials will never be made available to Merlin. You're going to click the Merlin tab and then scroll down and select the exchange or wallet that you would like to add. And they've got some of the biggest exchanges in the world here. We've got Coinbase Pro, Coinbase, Binance.us, Bittrue, Kraken, Metamask, Uphold, Trust Wallet, Ledger, Gemini, and several others. We also got the Atomic Wallet. I think that's worth noting as well. So for the sake of today's video, we're going to choose the Coinbase tab and connect that to our Merlin account. So first thing we're going to do is connect the account via the Vesgo application. We're going to verify and authorize the wallet access inside of your Merlin account. And after doing so, access will be granted to the Merlin platform. And you can see within seconds, it will link your exchange to your Merlin wallet. Very efficient, as simple as a few easy clicks. You have now added and connected your wallet slash exchange to the Merlin application. And what we're going to do next is head over to the exchanges tab, just so I can show you how my Coinbase has already been updated. 13 assets updated one minute ago. You can see total portfolio value is about $4,000. Look at the assets or the exchanges tab. It automatically shows you where your assets are sitting on these exchanges. As you can tell, 13 of my assets are in Coinbase. Two are in my ledger account and one is sitting on crypto.com. As we look at the application, I'm sure we're going to continue to evolve ourselves. Now we're going to get into how to create an exit plan 
using the Merlin application for our day four video. That's going to conclude our video for day three about Merlin, the smartest way to track your crypto. And you're going to want to tune into tomorrow's episode as we show you how to create an exit strategy using the Merlin application. And that's something that I find to be the best part of using the Merlin app. But we'll see you guys tomorrow to discuss the smartest way to track your crypto.